Hello everybody, Ken from WeeklyRandom.com here again, and I'm bringing to you a DCUO footage gameplay video of uh, solo dungeons or missions. So uh, right now, I have a I have a quest or a mission to go into the high base to continue, which is right here. Now you can find your bases or your mission zones, solo dungeons, whatever you want to call them by looking for these yellow rings and you know, they're usually lit up if you're high enough in the sky if you're a flyer if not uh, tough luck just follow your map but uh, let's go into the hive and I just wanted to show you a little bit of the gameplay I'll probably fast forward it here and there just to uh, give an idea of um, you know how the thing is without doing the entire thing I'll basically do a little of the beginning a little of the middle and probably the end which ends up resulting in some sort of boss interaction Alright, so let's go ahead and I already I started this a little bit, but I figured I'd go back through and make a video. Basically you did a quest with this guy right here. Save some scientists now. The uh, exciting conclusion of my video before it even started. No. Alright, so I'm running through here. Blah 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 blah. I gotta find the force field to deactivate it. And judging by my map, it's somewhere around here. And I'm running fast because I'm using my brawler speed. Which you can't use in combat, by the way. This is just for basic movement. Alright, that X right there shows it's my force field that I need to deactivate. Notice there's quite a bit of guys there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a cancer at him. This is where the interaction in the world comes in pretty good. Focus on this guy and throw it. Oh, I got some distance, huh? Hardest guys, and I gotta use a soda already. Now I don't know if these are capable of doing by yourself. I pulled a lot more guys than I thought was in here, so I got knocked out. I'm gonna have to start at the beginning again, run back through. There's no such thing as deaths. There's no grave runs. Basically, you're knocked out. If you're in a party, anybody can help you out. It's pretty forgiving. All right, so I didn't start back at the beginning. Just, uh, just here. So I'm gonna go in. No, maybe not. I meant to pick that up and I pressed the wrong button. I'm a noob. Okay, so... Oh no, my equipment's broken. That's probably why I'm taking so much damage. Alright, so what I want to do is... Oh, they didn't even lose health. What I want to do is just finish these guys off. I wonder what took damage. Is it my damage cloak or my top hat? It's probably my top hat. No, I'm kidding. I'm actually wearing some decent gear. Alright, so here's my quest. And here comes some sort of a boss. Or not. If my gear wasn't broken, I'd probably be doing a little better. I DK. Oh, there's that special ops guy. I need one of these. It's like some mini quest. I don't know if it's an actual quest or not. You can only track one quest at a time. That's my only gripe, is that you can only do one quest at a time. Alright, so I gotta arrest these guys. Now what I'm gonna do is go repair my gear and then I'll continue this video from here. So, be right back. Alrighty, I repaired here at the police station. Now I'm going to find where I need to go back. Now, there's that little yellow arrow on the mini-map there, but I want to show you something that I thought was pretty neat. Easy easy way to find your way back anywhere you you need to go. Well, it's always good to be on top of a taller building, too. So, let's scale building, and I will show you exactly what I mean, hopefully. Now, if you notice, very off in the distance, there's kind of a yellow light, and as I get closer, it'll become more prominent. But it's like a beacon, like a bat signal almost. And what that does is it, it'll tell me how to get back to where I need to get back to. So, uh, see if I can get a better view of it. I'll probably speed this segment up. So, I don't know. Not really sure how to do that yet without altering my voice. So I might either sound like a chipmunk or just play this out right. 
Not sure. Alright, I should be able to see if I'm here. Alright. See that big glowy orange, yellowish orange thing right there? That's where I need to be. So, it's very easy to find your quest locations. And I'll meet you inside. Alright, I'm back and this is round two of this area here. Guys hit like a freaking truck. Where'd he go? He dodged really far away. There's really no rhyme or reason. It really feels like you're in a freaking beast nest. There's just so, so many hard bosses here. Now this is on the Superman play. I don't know if this B quest is available for any other any other hero paths. Probably not. Alrighty, now let's see, defeat the Hive Queen, where is this Hive Queen? Probably gotta defeat these guys first, because they come in multitudes. So let's see. Who do I want to pull first? This guy is down low. Get him out of the way. Alright, so he is done. Let's see, that worker up there. Now the thing with these dungeons, you gotta pull strategically. Unless you're like a tank or something. Because I'm having a heck of a time keeping uh, myself alive in here. I'm putting a lot of effort into it. Oop, I just moved something up. And uh, yeah, this is just me playing the game, but this is very fun. I'm gonna finish off this room, and then probably just fast forward to the boss, because the rest of the dungeon is pretty close to this. Basically all you do is, uh, you just go through, you know, beat up a bunch of guys. It's like any other dungeon, except for it's single player, which I like. So, uh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna clear this room and I'll see you at the boss. Okay, I just came in on a little mini boss, it looks like. So, I wanted to show you this fight. I'm probably gonna die here. Where's he going? Oh no, don't tell me he's gonna pull an entire room. That'd be terrible. I'm not sure what he went. He's like, intruder detected, intruder detected, and he ran away. Okay. Well, so much for that, big sissy. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you at the boss. Alrighty. Queen bitch round two. Fight. Guards! Protect your queen with your lives! I never heard of this lady. She's very feelist, apparently. Big friendly fire, that's a plus. Okay, the green came out. Let's see. trying to avoid it this time without trying to kill my own guys. We will serve the hive. Yeah, they're slow their attacks are sluggish. I might have to kill these guys, so... Sorry, dudes that uh, used to be on my side. Better luck next time. Okay. I really don't want to feel your sting, lady. Drop a honeycomb cereal on me, it looks like. She means business. Oh, she takes her own damage. You cannot resist the power of the hive. And I'm out of 
powers. So feed her the old fashioned way. Fine drone. But you must learn uh -huh. obedience. Damn it, lady. Alright, now you finish that quest. I think that's the boss. Signaling Brainiac for us. Queen B and Brainiac. That can't be good for anyone. But hey, we won this round. Alright, and this is what happens every time you beat a little dungeon, you get a little comic from on many, display. One. One mind. One goal. One queen. So they think they are mighty. They think their swarm rivals mine. Soon all of their thoughts will be for me alone. All minds will be one mind. Mine! Brainiac has promised this. Brainiac, I obey. The hive mind has one mind, one queen, and now a king. And that's how that goes. I love that. And those are all, uh. Brainiac is in control. Well, I got an achievement. I, I guess I didn't use a, a soda that time around. I hope this is Brainiac. But, uh, yeah. Basically, the thing is, is uh, every time you do a little dungeon, you get all these unlocks, you get uh, that cinematic, and you can always go watch that cinematic again. So it's very cool. And that, this was a little micro dungeon. They're not very long. They can be pretty complicated, but other other than that, they're uh, fun. Definitely fun. Worth worth the time. So uh, this is Ken at WeeklyRandom.com. This will be my fourth video. Hopefully I'll have a little more uh, organization for my next one. And I hope this was fun to watch. All right. For more uh, videos like this, comics, our podcast, go to weeklyrandom.com. And, uh, yeah, you can contact me for some ideas at mailbox at weeklyrandom.com. And this is the Homeless Bloke. Peace out.